Welcome everyone to The Art of Power, where we unravel the secrets to a more empowered and fulfilling life. In our journey today, we delve into the crux of a timeless philosophy, Stoicism, a beacon that has guided many through the tumultuous seas of life. But first, let's identify the problem at hand. We live in a world that's ceaselessly evolving, a world that's a whirlwind of unpredictability. This ever-changing landscape often leaves us feeling overwhelmed, like a ship without a compass, lost amidst the stormy waves of challenges, uncertainties, and external pressures. We may find ourselves questioning our ability to influence our circumstances, feeling powerless and disconnected from our true potential. In the face of such complexities, the question then becomes, how can we regain control and navigate the complexities of modern life with grace and resilience? Enter Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that offers a profound solution to the chaos. This philosophy, dating back to the third century BC, is rooted in the wisdom of great thinkers like Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius. But don't let its age fool you. Stoicism is as relevant today as it was in the days of ancient Greece and Rome. Stoicism teaches us to differentiate the things within our control from those that are not. It's about understanding that our reactions, our emotions, our judgments, these are within our power. On the other hand, external events, the actions of others, the weather, the passage of time, these are elements we cannot control. But where does this leave us? Are we merely to accept the world as it is, passive and unresponsive? Not quite. Stoicism is not about indifference or resignation. Instead, it guides us to channel our energies towards the things we can influence. It's about active engagement with the world, but from a place of understanding and acceptance. The Stoics believe that our greatest asset is our mind and our ability to reason. By harnessing this power, we can approach life's challenges with wisdom, courage, and self-discipline. We can choose to respond to adversity with resilience, to injustice with integrity, and to uncertainty with equanimity. This is not a philosophy of inaction, but a philosophy of action within the realm of our control. It's about making the most of what we have rather than lamenting what we lack. It's about embracing change rather than resisting it. It's about finding tranquility in the midst of turmoil, not by avoiding life's struggles, but by meeting them head on with grace and fortitude. By cultivating virtues like wisdom, courage, and self-discipline, we gain the power to shape our responses to external events rather than being victims of circumstance. Stoicism, in essence, is the art of living powerfully, no matter what life throws our way. Consider the case of Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor. Born in 81 AD, Marcus Aurelius ascended to the throne of the Roman Empire in 161 AD, a position he held for nearly two decades. Despite the immense power and prestige that came with his title, Aurelius was a man constantly tested by adversity. His reign was marked by military conflicts, a devastating plague and political troubles, not to mention the personal challenges he faced, such as the loss of his children and the betrayal of close friends. Yet amidst these trials, Aurelius remained a beacon of serenity and wisdom. How did he manage this? The answer lies in his commitment to Stoic philosophy. Stoicism, as Aurelius understood it, was not a set of abstract theories, but a practical guide for life. It taught him to see the world as it was, not as he wished it to be, and to focus his energy on things within his control. His response to life's challenges was not despair or frustration, but acceptance and action. His Stoic principles were not just theoretical, they were lived experiences documented in his personal journal, later known as the Meditations. In these writings, Aurelius shared his reflections on life, power, and virtue. He wrote about the importance of acting with integrity, accepting the inevitability of change, and finding tranquility in the present moment. A favorite quote from his Meditations encapsulates his philosophy. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Through his life and writings, Aurelius exemplifies the Stoic ideal of a philosopher king, a leader who rules not through force, but through wisdom and virtue. His story serves as a powerful reminder that no matter how chaotic or challenging our circumstances may be, we always have the power to choose our response. His meditations serve as a timeless example of how one can find strength in adversity and lead with virtue. Let's delve deeper into a contemporary case study. Meet John a committed professional juggling an intense career and personal life. 
Like many of us, John found himself in a world that was accelerating faster than he could handle. He was a high achiever, perpetually striving for perfection in every facet of his existence. But this ceaseless chase for perfection bore a heavy cost. It bred stress, anxiety, and an enduring sense of insufficiency. He was on a treadmill that never ceased, and he felt incapacitated to halt it. That's when he chanced upon stoicism. It wasn't an abrupt metamorphosis. It was a slow process, an expedition of self-realization and self-mastery. John started by understanding the core principle of stoicism, the dichotomy of control. He comprehended that some things in life were within his control, such as his actions, judgments, and perceptions, and some things were not, like the opinions of others, the weather, or the past. John began incorporating this principle into his day-to-day -day life. When confronted with a challenging situation at work, rather than fretting about the outcome, he focused on his actions and reactions. He understood that he had the ability to select his response, to choose his demeanor. This realization was liberating. Over time, John noticed a significant transformation. He was no longer a prisoner to external events or viewpoints. He felt more grounded, more in control. He was capable of making decisions from a position of tranquility and clarity, as opposed to reacting out of fear or stress. His relationships enhanced, his work became more rewarding, and he found a sense of tranquility he had never felt before. Didn't make John's life flawless, but it provided him with the skills to steer his challenges with grace and bravery. It enlightened him that genuine power lies not in controlling every detail of life, but in mastering one's response to it. This change in mentality empowered him to address challenges with a calm resilience, engendering superior decision-making and a more balanced life. In this chapter, a new stage of your exploration into the art of power. Consider this a beacon guiding you towards the path less traveled, one teeming with promise and individual advancement. We delve deeper into the philosophical tenets of Stoicism, a roadmap that enables us to sail through life's choppy waters with dignity, resilience, and above all, personal power. Imagine a life where you are not merely an onlooker swayed by the unpredictable winds of destiny. Instead, envision yourself at the helm of your life, navigating with conviction, unswayed by the tempests that may surround you. This is the essence of Stoicism. By concentrating on what we can control and letting go of what we can't, we can reshape our reactions, our feelings, and ultimately, our existence. Now you might wonder, how does one commence this expedition? Start by immersing yourself more in Stoic teachings. Study the writings of Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius. Grasp their viewpoints, their sagacity, and their teachings. As you peruse, bear in mind that these are not just philosophies or disconnected ideas. They are functional implements crafted for real-world application in our quotidian lives. Then, incorporate the tenets of Stoicism into your everyday routine. Begin modestly. Instill self-discipline, foster valor, and accumulate wisdom. Distinguish between what you can influence and what you cannot. Aim to preserve serenity in the face of hardship, mirroring Marcus Aurelius during his reign as Roman Emperor, and most importantly, be gentle with yourself. This is a voyage, not a sprint. There will be days when you falter, when the world feels overpowering and Stoicism's maxims seem out of reach. That's all right. Bear in mind, it's not about flawlessness, but about advancement. It's about improving a tad bit every day. The transformative influence of Stoicism lies in its straightforwardness and its significance to modern existence. Whether you're a CEO, helming a global corporation, a caretaker balancing numerous duties, or a young adult grappling with the complications of youth, Stoic principles provide a method to live with intent, durability, and personal power. So take that initial stride today. Let Stoicism direct you. As you initiate your expedition, remember that genuine power is not about ruling the world around you, but about managing your reactions to it. May discover tenacity, insight, and satisfaction in the quest for a more empowered and goal-oriented life. In our next chapter, we delve deeper into one of the fundamental principles of Stoicism, understanding control. This concept is the bedrock of Stoic philosophy and it differentiates between what we can and cannot influence. The Stoics believed that much of our distress comes from trying to control what is inherently uncontrollable. 
they categorize things into two distinct spheres, things within our control and things outside our control. Our thoughts, our beliefs, our actions, our responses, these lie within our control. Conversely, external events, the actions of others, the passage of time, the weather, global events, these are beyond our control. The Stoics advise us to focus our energies on areas within our control, leading to a more empowered and fulfilling life. They suggest that when we spend our time and emotional energy trying to control the uncontrollable, we set ourselves up for frustration and disappointment. However, when we shift our focus to our own actions and responses, we empower ourselves. We take control of the only thing we truly can, ourselves. This concept is simple yet powerful. It has the potential to transform how we navigate our lives, how we respond to adversity, and how we interact with the world around us. It encourages us to take responsibility for our actions and our reactions to be proactive rather than reactive and to cultivate a sense of inner peace and resilience. As we wrap up this chapter, consider this. Where in your life are you trying to control the uncontrollable? How might your life change if you shifted your focus to what is within your control? Remember, the true power lies not in controlling the world around you, but in controlling your responses to it. In the words of the great Stoic philosopher Epictetus, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. Let this be your guiding principle as you continue your journey into the art of power. Embrace the Stoic art of understanding control. May it bring you peace, resilience, and personal power. As we move ahead in our exploration of the art of power, we now venture into the realm of virtues that Stoicism encourages us to cultivate, wisdom, courage, and self-discipline. These virtues are not just lofty ideals in Stoicism, they are practical tools for living a more empowered and fulfilling life. Wisdom, the first of these virtues, is not merely about intellectual knowledge. It's about practical wisdom, understanding what is within our control and what is not, making sound judgments and navigating life's challenges with discernment. Wisdom is the compass that guides us through the stormy seas of life, helping us make decisions that align with our values and goals. Next, we have courage. Courage in Stoicism is not just about physical bravery, but also about the moral courage to uphold our values, to act rightly even when it's difficult, and to face adversity with resilience. Courage is the shield that protects our inner peace and power even when the world around us is in chaos. Lastly, self-discipline. This is the virtue that enables us to align our actions with our values, to resist temptations that lead us astray, and to persevere in the face of obstacles. Self-discipline is the anchor that keeps us grounded, helping us to stay true to our path even when the winds of life try to blow us off course. Cultivating these virtues is not an overnight task. It requires consistent effort, self-reflection, and patience, but the rewards are profound. As we cultivate wisdom, courage, and self-discipline, we equip ourselves with the tools to respond powerfully to life's challenges, to maintain our inner peace amidst chaos, and to live in alignment with our highest values. This is the art of power that Stoicism teaches us. As we close this chapter, remember this. The true power is not in controlling the world around us, but in controlling our responses to it. And these responses can be shaped, refined, and empowered through the cultivation of virtues. So let's continue this journey of power, resilience, and peace, armed with wisdom, courage, and self-discipline. As we embark on this next chapter of our journey, we delve into a core Stoic principle, embracing adversity. Stoics view challenges not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and learning. They see adversity as the forge that tempers the steel of our character, turning us into stronger, more resilient individuals. When we encounter hardship, the Stoic approach encourages us not to shy away, but to confront it head on. Remember, it's not the event itself that disturbs us, but our judgment about it. An event is neutral. It's our perception that labels it as good or bad. In the face of adversity, the Stoic shifts their perspective, recognizing that the control lies not in avoiding the storm, but in learning to dance in the rain. Embracing adversity also involves practicing acceptance. Acceptance is not passive resignation, but an active acknowledgement of reality as it is, without wishing it were different. 
It's about understanding that every experience, positive or negative, has something to teach us. Every setback, every disappointment, every loss, they are all part of the rich tapestry of life, each thread adding depth, texture, and color to our personal narrative. In the face of adversity, remember the virtues we previously discussed, wisdom, courage, and self-discipline. Apply wisdom to discern what is within your control, courage to face the challenge head on, and self-discipline to stay committed to your values and goals, even when the going gets tough. Embracing adversity is about transforming obstacles into stepping stones. It's about turning life's lemons into lemonade, harnessing the power of adversity to fuel our growth, resilience, and inner peace. This is the stoic art of power. As we move forward, let's carry this powerful perspective with us, transforming every challenge into a stepping stone towards our highest potential. As we transition into the next phase of our exploration, we come to an important juncture, the application of stoic principles in our daily lives. Living powerfully through stoicism doesn't mean merely understanding its tenets. It involves embodying them, integrating them into our thoughts, decisions, and actions. It's about living consciously with intention and purpose, and it starts with our mindset. Every morning when you wake up, remind yourself of the stoic virtues, wisdom, courage, self-discipline, and justice. Use them as your guiding lights, steering your choices and actions throughout the day. When faced with a challenge, instead of reacting impulsively, pause. Remember the principle of control. Ask yourself, what's in my control here? And act accordingly. When adversity strikes, don't resist it. Embrace it. Use it as a catalyst for growth and learning. Practice acceptance, acknowledging reality as it is, without resistance or judgment. Remember, every experience, every setback, every triumph, they all serve a purpose. They're all opportunities for growth, for learning, for becoming a stronger, wiser, uh, more resilient version of yourself. And above all, remember this, power doesn't come from external circumstances, it comes from within. It comes from the strength of your character, the resilience of your spirit, the depth of your wisdom. This is what it means to live powerfully through Stoicism. As we continue our journey, let's strive to embody these principles, to live consciously and intentionally, to harness the Stoic art of power in our everyday lives.